Hi, I'm Dr. Kelly Fitzsimmons Burton, and I wanted to make a series of videos talking about current events and particularly philosophical assumptions in our current events and particularly critical theory. That might sound a bit vague, but I want to talk about how we got to where we are right now philosophically. So here are some of the movements we've been seeing. If you've been paying attention at all, you've seen some of these things. Black Lives Matter, cancel culture, the Me Too movement, campus speech issues, Antifa, autonomous zones, desecration of statues and monuments, the George Floyd protests, defund the police movements, tear down white Jesus, anti-racist, virtue signaling, diversity and inclusion initiatives in business and on campuses. So these are some of the movements that are popular right now in our culture. And these are some of the catchphrases or slogans we hear um, thrown around and I'm just bringing these up to bring to mind some of the things that we're dealing with and that have philosophical roots that we could look at. So we've heard things like white privilege, racist, white fragility, male privilege, woke. Are you woke? So these are the catchphrases, slogans we hear thrown around and there's pressure on all of us to make statements about racism, about our position where we stand on Black Lives Matter, and uh, to be activist. The time for talking is over. The time for action is now. We hear that, right? So where did this come from? It may feel like it just happened. It just came out of nowhere. It became particularly pointed uh, with the George Floyd protests and the immediacy of that moment. But these uh, movements have roots and they're rooted in philosophy. And I'm going to, to address this as a philosophy teacher, particularly as a logic teacher. I'm teaching logic this summer and some of my students asked really good questions that I thought would uh, be an occasion for me to take up this topic in a way that is relevant to students. I have been working on perhaps a class on critical theory, but that's high level stuff. So how do we talk about it in the day to day? I'm going to talk about it from the perspective of a logic teacher. All right. So uh, all of these topics come from um, a philosophy called critical theory. And that word critical has a history too. Um, I'm interested in the history of this idea and where it comes from. It goes back, I'm going to argue, to Immanuel Kant and his critique, his three critiques, but more, uh, more closer to our time to Friedrich Nietzsche, who was into critiquing everything, basically. He was a philosopher who had some ideas that I'm seeing come out in the critical theory uh, philosophy. So I think a lot of people see Marxism in critical theory. I see Nietzsche and Marx, maybe, but not for the whole philosophy. So I'd like to talk about, uh, I would like to talk about some of the philosophical assumptions of critical theory next and see uh, what are some of the themes. To me, it's a little bit surprising. So I am going to uh, pause here. Another thing is, before I pause, there's a bit of fear in talking about these things. So I want to find a way of dispelling that fear so that we can have a conversation that needs to happen. All right, so that will be my logic teacher part. I'm going to use logic to dispel fear. Is that possible? Can reason dispel fear? Let's see if it can. We'll try it. All right. Thanks.